Hello and welcome in this new course. I hope you are doing well and in, the, in this new course we will learn how to create a really basic um, backend PHP application. Something very basic but however the code will be really vanilla. That means we won't use any framework for today is just about the basics of PHP, nothing else. So uh, it will mostly, yeah, it will actually be only plain PHP. We won't use any um, any uh, sheet styles, any uh, you know HTML. We can, we might use a little bit of HTML, but no CSS, so no design, um, just PHP and PHP Storm as well. So you will see a bit of functionalities of PHP Storm. I have already my uh, PHP server set up on PHP Storm, and I have also already the browser that um, can be triggered directly from PHP Storm. If you don't know how to do so, I suggest you to see my first video about uh, starting with a PHP Storm. Uh, the name is yeah new PHP project with PHP Storm. Have a look in my channel for that video, and you will see how to configure uh, your PHP Storm. Here we go straight to our project. So we will we will just create a new empty PHP project, and I will name it um just basic PHP uh, app. I will create it, open. Now it's created, as you can see, and PHP Storm will generate a config file. If actually, if you go to um, here, it is, um, oh, sorry, uh, that's just the path where I am. And if you do ls, um, ls a to see hidden folders, oh, Maybe PHP Storm didn't create because normally you have oh yeah you don't have any folders. Um, maybe once it's saved because normally after oh yeah here is now I saved uh, the project um, comment S on Mac or Control S on Windows and now you have an idea um, folder. Uh, here it's not visible because actually my Mac hide it uh, by default, but I think there's an option to uh, show it. Um, just for your information, uh, you have an option. I don't remember where it is. You also have a terminal command. You can run. Uh, so by yes let's have a look later on because i don't remember where it is i can actually just quickly have a look here i'll just share my wi-fi so at least you know it's actually i think it's also good for you if you if you use mac and you're not really familiar with it and you can see hidden um uh files so um show on mac um yes yeah, mac uh, finder finder uh, oh, to obviously use my internet and let's see um so oh yeah that's just temporary um but there's a command, you have a terminal command you can use, and it's a good one. So let's see quickly. And I see that the storage of my Mac is almost full, so I will have to do it quickly, otherwise, the video will just stop. Um, <laughs> type. Hmm. Maybe it's just me, but um, I can't see it easily right now. Normally, you have a really uh, simple comment. 
you can run command open the terminal press the command um yeah it's that one step two um so let's just do it you see it's really simple this one and now maybe i will have to restart it um, and if I go to code, basic, oh, it's still not here. Um, <laughs> comment space. Oh, that's, yeah, just to open the terminal, they were saying. Uh, well, the steps are a bit too long. Uh, but normally this one should, um, it should work, I believe. Oh, wait, 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 hidden. Maybe that's, oh no. Let's again to hide it. Anyways, uh, let's dig into our uh, PHP project and let's see that for another time. But normally something like that, so at least you know. So here we actually create just a simple, basic, a uh, new uh, PHP file and I will call it index because index.php uh, is the main um, file that will be executed in a, in a browser. The server always pick up the index one. And depending on the extension, normally, usually HTML is the one that is picked up. And then it's uh, .php if your server is PHP. If you use Node, it's first .js and then .ts if you have TypeScript as well. Usually, that's the way uh, the order how they pick up the first file. So here, um, we just actually have a very something very basic, especially because my battery, uh, my, um, sorry, my memory of my Mac is almost full. So um, it's, that's not really good. I don't want to uh, have this video to be cut. So uh, let's create a function on page. You see that's a basic function with PHP um, and return. And you know, you can actually um, have um, something um, with actually PHP storm. Um, they actually, if you use PHP tag and you use tab, you can do some uh, funny things really handy, like a div and then I do tab. But here it doesn't work, I believe it's because I'm not in a proper HTML um, file. So, um, hello. You see, it's so basic, but it's you see how easy it's PHP. And so you can have a kind of, um, I mean, first now I just do echo home page and that's what it would be just my home page and we can just have a look here or we have to execute um my oh it's not configured anymore apparently i will just um configure my um my server um <laughs> I hope it was configured, but apparently for some reason it is not. I will use PHP um I will use the server um apply fix because I need to choose an interpreter um to run it. Apply um now let's see uh or oh, permission denied. Oh, that's a bit annoying. Uh, okay. I think there's an issue somewhere, somehow. It should be used with strict. <laughs> um, sometimes, you know, you have those kind of issues. I will just have a quick look. Um, um, Google, Google always help. And um, let's have a look what's wrong with it. It's maybe, yeah, it's probably just a permission. It's nothing really bad or annoying, uh, but let's have a look, uh, but if you want. Oh, I think it's because it's, a, I which one? Um, Mike doesn't allow it. 
Tad jau pēc jūs un tas pēc tam, pēc tad. Support is used in other application. Oh, it's maybe already used as here. Oh, no, that's the that support. I will use that specific port probably. The port of PHP Storm. Let's have a look how it goes. And now it starts. Now it's running actually. As you can see, here is my hello. Um, so yeah, sometimes you will have this kind of small issue. Um, but it's usually it's either because the port is already used or because you have a, a permission issue. Here I believe it's more permission issue because the ATAT port is not used. But um, yeah, sometimes because it's another program that already used that port. Anyways, now it's working, and now uh, you can let that's really basic. It's just written a home page, and after you can create some conditions actually um, that you will see. Um, let's do some conditions for uh, when you navigate somewhere. So, hello, and here actually, I will use uh, something really cool. Um, yeah, PHP. I will show it to you. I always forget the name. Um, it's part of the string and it's really cool to, oh, here dog. Um, and this is really cool to have, to, if you use um, HTML, you have here doc. And if you use um, HTML uh, syntax in your code, it's really, really good. I like it. Um, I will do HTML actually. And here you will have your HTML um, string. It's much easier. Um, so HTML equals, and here I will return HTML. Beautiful. And so I can easily have, um, I will create a link actually. Um, and my link will be simply, um, so we are on index.php. Uh, so I will again do index.php and then it will be about um, me. Oh, obviously if I forget the O, it won't, um, it won't work. And about me, here we are. And if you have a look to this, it's so handy to have the PHP server like that because it works very well and now it doesn't um oh i think there's a problem with the syntax um and it's not found um oh it's because actually i have to rerun i, I don't have to use the safari one but i just have to rerun it um okay so now it's about me so we have that page you see and using here doc is really really handy you can also use variables and if you use variables in uh, in that one, you have to use the now doc. And the now doc is just code here, and you can use, oh no, that's without variables, sorry. So I just get confused. So here you can actually have variable, PHP variable inside, but if you don't want the PHP variable to be executed, you have to use the now doc, which is with, with the code. And the now doc, has, I think it's available since PHP 5.0. Uh, dot four, if I'm not mistaken, but now anyway, anyone uh, uh, uses um, um, PHP beyond um, five dot something, but it's yeah, it it wasn't available before, uh, but yeah, now they don't even mention it apart in the doc, so better for us. It makes the doc uh, more simple. Um, so now we will just have um, another page. We create about me, and here, hey, it's me, and we can even have a heading actually. Um, it's free, and so um, I'm a developer. Let's say something kind of funny. I'm a dev, beautiful, and. Um, that's, uh, by the way, when you have a um, PHP function, um, you cannot have a dash. You can have um, 
an, under, under, an underscore, or um, you can also use a camo case like this. In my case, I will use uh, like this with a camo case, but uh, underscore is, it works as well. But if you use a dash, um, it, uh, PHP won't be able to interpret your function and um, it won't work. Actually, if I just run it, you will see I will have an error. You see a uh, syntax unexpected token dash. So uh, let's do like this. And here I will say if um, you see we use the global the global get uh, variable about me if we have about me, and I will use not empty actually. If about me is not empty, otherwise we will have an issue with PHP when uh, the get variable is uh, not defined. So that's why we have that's why we have to use um, empty uh, PHP um, function. And if it's not empty, if about me is not empty, I will do equal um, about me. And otherwise, or oh, I will actually, um, yeah, echo, and I can I can actually return, um, return after after the function, because by doing that way, it will um, terminate uh, the execution of the global uh, file, and so um, home home page won't be executed. Uh, so that's it actually. Let's try. Uh, I will just have to uh, rerun the server. And let's do it about me. If I go to about me, oops, sorry, I have this variable. Uh, it was just to show you uh, that you can use variable in here doc, um, but now we don't need it anymore. And because that variable is not defined, it didn't work um, about me. I think I have, oh yes, um, I should say um, yes. Or maybe I should do page equals about me. So here we just do page and um, it's about me. If the page, beautiful, but we do, um, if it's not empty, we have to do this and page about me is, uh, and page is about me. So we first check if the variable is set, is defined, if um, get page, so if we receive um, a query, so if we receive a variable in the URL called page, if this one is defined, then we continue. And if uh, that um, page um, variable has the value uh, about me, then we execute uh, this, this line. And as you can see, it works. So you see, it's really simple. And uh, after you can even make your code to scale a little bit more by doing page equal, we will, we will use a null, um, a null coalescing operator available since um, PHP 7, 7.1, I think. It's really good. Uh, I really like it actually. Um, null coalescing. In PHP 7, um, uh, and it's really handy um, because you don't have, as I say here actually, you don't have to, be, before you had to use, uh, you have to check with um, empty function if you, uh, the, the, the get variable is defined, um, then we will uh, show uh, that uh, get variable, the value, otherwise another value. Here, directly, uh, if it's defined, we have this one, and if not, well, um, it will be um, home page. That's the default value. Um, and so I can directly do this and do a switch. Um, but if actually now, well, yeah, if we want to make it more code that case maybe uh, better we can directly do this and then um, we have a case um, about 
me and here uh, we will uh, equal the about me function um, we will have to use break to terminate the um, the state um, the the case of the switch statement otherwise it will run the the code below it so that's why we use it we use a break um, keyword and if it's home page uh, then again the same we just equal home page and then we do a break as well and that's it actually it's really simple um, I don't need this. Uh, let's have a look. I'm not sure if what I did is working well, but let's. Oh, uh, indeed, I have a small issue, which is a case. Um, oh, I think this one. Why did I have? Yeah, I think my. Uh, I will just reformat the code to look it. Um, clean up. To look it a little bit um, better, um, I thought I had a cleanup. Um, oh. and normally, um, if you do this, this actually, I will try. Uh, if you you have a lot of shortcuts actually with PHP Storm that you can use to select uh, different parts of the code. But yes, as you can, as you could see, um, and I have another issue actually, a little issue, equal break. Um, let's have a look what it is. Let's run again. Oh, it's still, um, okay. So I will just restart because sometimes you know, you are not sure to see what's the problem. Uh, switch case about me break. Uh, that's fine. And um, hmm, I'm sure I have something that is, and that's why actually I think the cleanup from PHP Storm uh, didn't work. Um, Sometimes you know you become a bit bland because sometimes you are just focused on on the issue and you don't really see what's wrong with it. Um, and I think for me, we actually use this indentation with a curly bracket on the same line because I prefer. Oh yeah, here is actually it's a semicolon actually that I missed and that's why it went the error sometimes of PHP is not very clear. And so it says, it says to you, hey, hey, um, there's an issue with a uh, switch, but actually it's not switch. It's just, um, the semicolon that was, uh, missing, as you could see here. So again, sem semicolon is so important. So now you see it's working and about me, it's not working because we, I, oh yeah. I missed the O actually. So now it will be working. Beautiful. And as you can see, if the value is a random value, it shows nothing indeed, because um, if we have about me, it goes there. If we have um, homepage, it goes here. But if you have something else, it doesn't, doesn't do anything. So we can actually have a default, um, uh, a default case. And the default case would be um, we can just have equal um, not found not found page. Oh yeah, we can actually suffix our function. It's a it's a good practice with page. Or you can have all the functions in a page file, and that you will include in the index dot um, uh, php. But we'll do that uh, probably. Um, Another time. Um, so now I will create a not found function very easily. Not found page and here not found. Uh, the page is not found. Page is not found. 
beautiful and um, normally that should be it let's restart let's do it you see if the page is not something that we don't know it goes not found if we don't have the page oh i just have an error here oh yes it's because we renamed our function and so it doesn't know anymore not page found and here because we changed the prefix so here you see it works again so now i just actually do a little refactoring um we will require uh page dot ink ink is that uh, everything that is included it's um it's um coding um standard that some developer use it's up to you uh, we can also have all our um files that we include in the directory like um include or you know every developer has different um way to do it uh in my case i'll just keep it short ink for include so it's for all the files that are included and um here we just have page actually pages dot ink dot php and here is everything that we have um, and so I will just use ink page dot um, ink dot php. Um, you can also use actually include include actually if the file is not found, it will still continue to run the script. If you use require, if the file is not found, it will stop and it will um, trigger a, um, a fatal error. You can also use require once. It means that even if you did require the same file before, well, it will just, a PHP will just um, include it once. So if we have two eyes with uh, two same files that we require with a require um, um, keyword, uh, you can also use as a function, but actually a require and include is not a function, it's a structure language. So if you use twice require, it will require the same page twice. But what is good with once is that even if I did require uh, the other page at an, at, at before uh, in, a, in a different uh, place or at a different time, it will just require if the, the page was already, uh, if the file was already included once, it won't inc include the same file a second time. So that's, that's handy too. So just maybe do it like here. Now this project is really small, so we are sure that uh, this page hasn't been, uh, this file hasn't been included already. So we can actually just do this. Um, require once is a little bit slower for, um, I mean, when you use include or require with once suffix, it's a little bit slower for um, optimization, but it's a little bit slower. It's not really big deal. And you see, it's now it's still working. Um, 